Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 52 of Direwolf20's Age of Engineering series. Just cooking myself a little bit more obsidian. Did I show you guys that little thing I set up? Real simple, I just pipe my lava into this fluid blazer and redstone signal it into the breaker. Easy peasy. Um, didn't do much off camera, I don't think, between episodes. But uh, last episode we wrapped up getting pretty close to doing something really cool. Um... I did set up a little bit of speed upgrades on one of my calculator machines. That's something I did do between episodes. I just noticed that. I put this in the basement so that I could auto-teach uh, crafting of redstone ingots uh, so that it can keep them in stock uh, for when it needs to to feed into here. So these things are now fully automated with redstone ingots. Yay. Um, so yeah, what did we do last episode? We built a space station. We haven't deployed it into orbit yet, but we built one. Uh, and today, what we need to do is launch it into orbit. Um, so we've got a guidance computer. That's what we used um, to get to different planets, right? Um, and there's like a circuit here, I think, somewhere. Where did my circuit go? I had a circuit. Uh, this guy, Planet ID Chip. Yeah, that's how we uh, we program the guidance computer to get to a different planet, right? We 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 played with that a little bit already. Um, then we did all kinds of other stuff. Um, we had like a seat on the rocket, and that's kind of cool thing, right? So today we need to launch an unmanned rocket. Which, if you look in your Age of Engineering guide uh, under the Space Age, there should be a section uh, after that. Um, yeah, so it says go get your stuff. Um, the space station has no restrictions and it can be expanded on later, which is what we're going to do. You need to put the satellite bay and a space station ID chip in the space station assembler and build it. We did that at the end of last episode. Then you need to build a rocket to deploy the station in orbit. This unmanned rocket is similar, but instead of a guidance computer and seat, it needs a satellite bay where you put the space station container in. Okay. And then we're going to need a rocket monitoring station. Okay. Uh, so we need a satellite bay and a rocket monitoring station. So satellite bay is this guy, which doesn't look too bad. We're going to need some titanium rods. Boom, boom. We're going to need four of them, actually, so let's all request them all. And then we're also going to need a structured block. So that's easy, right? Um, how much titanium do we have, by the way? We have 518 small piles, so that's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. I hope. We'll see. We've got a decent amount of titanium dust. Uh, we'll see if we need more. Um, so that should get us our satellite bay, which, yay, cool, done and done. Uh, and then we, the other thing we need is a rocket, hey, rocket, guidance something or other, rocket assembling machine. What was the name of that thing we need? Um, rocket monitoring station linked to the rocket assembling machine. So monitoring station. There we go, this guy. So that's gonna need some copper rods, which probably don't look too bad. A small battery optical sensor. Looks easy enough, we just need a gold plate. Yeah, okay, so we already got one of them. Um, another structure block, a battery, all of which is auto craftable. Uh, and then can I just craft these by chance? No, nope, needs to be, so we're gonna need six of them. So let's just get three copper, uh, one, two, three, and go drop that into, which one of these does bars? Um, I don't know how often we'll need to do this. So I don't know if I want to teach it the recipe. I guess I could, it wouldn't hurt. So we basically just do this, this, one of these that should stamp its way into a copper bar let's go over here two copper bars from one copper check and check put you back down i knew i had three of them cool so now i should be able to say copper bars give me four more of them, please, and it should start immediately. Beautiful. So 
what I like to see, things that work. All right, so rocket monitoring station is ready. Nice. We're gonna need the linking thing, and then we need that satellite ID chip. Now where did that go? Uh, I'm sure it's around here somewhere. We have the space station container. Remember at the end of the last episode, I said don't lose that thing. It's really, really important. And if you lose it, you have to rebuild your rocket thingy. Where did I put it? Space station ID chip. There it is. I knew it was important. Uh, so let's do the things and stuff. So according to the guide, um, we basically build our rocket the same way we built it before. Um, except we, instead of putting a guidance computer in seat, we put um, the, the satellite bay with the station container in it. And then to launch the unmanned rocket, you need a rocket monitoring station linked to the assembly machine. Uh, if you put a station ID chip in the guidance computer, you can then fly to your space station. Cool. Um, so let's build the rocket that's going to launch our satellite into orbit. Now this rocket doesn't come back to Earth from what I can tell. So this rocket will be lost. Keep that in mind. Uh, so I think satellite bay and inside there we can put our space station container. I forget if I do that before or after I um, do the thing. But I think we'll scan it. We'll make sure you're good. Clear for liftoff. So let's build it and see if we can't put this in there. All right. I think that had to go in before we built it. Nah. Now here's a question, how to get rid of this thing if I do this wrong. Scan again? Will you unbuild it if I scan? Missing guidance computer, yes, because there's not really a rocket there. All right, hold on, how do I... Let's try space station assembler guidance computer rocket monitoring station. You might not have wanted to do what I just did. Linked successfully. Cool. I might need to launch this thing and then rebuild it. But I think I did something bad. Uh, so if I give you fuel, you've got fuel now. So I think if I launch it, it's just gonna go somewhere but not actually deploy anything because this item is not in there. How do I unbuild you? I can unbuild it from the UI, but I don't have access to the UI when I'm not inside the rocket. So there's no seat on it, so I can't unbuild it. Eh, I think I'm just gonna, if I hit build again, would you be smart enough to like derp de derp and unbuild it? Nope. All right, let's just launch it. Goodbye rocket, you're wasted. We're gonna make another rocket. <laughs> See you later unmanned rocket doing nothing. All right, so let's get some rocket fuel tanks and everything else. We'll be back in a second. Uh, we're gonna need some more liquid fire rockets and all this other stuff. So back in a minute. Uh, we're gonna need six titanium plates. All right, I think we're almost there. One more set of steel rods, cool. All right, so there's that. And then we've got our rocket. I made them, didn't I? Totally did. Maybe I didn't. Um, liquid fueled engines. Yeah, I just made the. Okay, cool. We're gonna need another piece of steel. Come on, steel. Finish cooking. You guys actually take a little while now. I kind of used up all my steel making those steel rods for the liquid fueled engine. You need 32 rods and 16 plates for the eight fuel tanks that we need. So that's a thing. Um, did we get a steel ingot? Nice. Cool. So there's your two engines. So technically, if I wanted to be a little bit more conservative about this, because this is a wasted rocket, let's 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 see if I can make this a little less. Because this is like a like one-time launch thing, right? So let's just put two of you on there, and then um, that's right. I need to make the satellite bay. This thing. I'm getting better at this mod. Slowly but surely. Like that should be all that's needed, right? So if I scan you, you might need another fuel tank. Uh, not enough fuel capacity. So maybe two more. Scan that guy. 
Hey, fuel, just enough. Now we're just missing a guidance computer, uh, which I didn't think I needed one of those. I thought you go in there and then that's it. Missing guidance computer. Oh, because it was higher. That's why. Not enough fuel capacity now. Okay. So that's cool. That's why. Uh, cause it was too, it was higher than the structure tower. Um, so you don't have enough fuel capacity now because we added weight to it. So we'll need one more of these. I'm just trying to be conservative. If I do that, is that enough? Doesn't look great, but hey, it's a one time use rocket that get burned up in the atmosphere when we're done using it. So you are cool now, right? Nice. Uh, you've got your thing in there. So now this is going to actually deploy the satellite for us. This will actually deploy the satellite for us. So let's build it. Uh, let's make sure we've got some rocket fuel. One more set of fuel. Cool. So fuel's full. Uh, you're launched. You're connected to this thing. Rocket unscanned. Cool. So you're you're set to go, right? So can you launch now? Yay! Okay, good. So there it goes. Um, so now that should actually deploy the space station. So pro tip, you just learned it here first. Make sure to put that little thing inside the container before you build your rocket. All right, now we have to build another rocket that will take us to the space station. So we still have our guidance computer. Check. Uh, we need our seat again. Check. And then we're going to need one more of these. Uh, so I need three titanium plates, please. And we're going to need five more um, liquid fuel tanks. So that means we're going to need 20 rods and 10 steel plates. Cool. You have to craft a few more steel ingots. And 10 steel plates. What are you doing over here? Are you doing the stupid thing? You are. There we go. That will rapidly increase our steel production. Cool. So now we can get five more of these. Close. Back in a sec when this is all done. All right. Should be good to go. Um, so now my space station should be in orbit at this point. Um, and this space station ID chip is what tells my rocket how to find the space station, right? So if we take a look at this, um, oh look, my rocket's reached altitude now. Cool. So I think that means it finished. I don't know what any of this mission progress stuff means, but pretty sure it worked. So you and you, and I'm gonna put my guidance computer here and I'm gonna put my seat right on top of it, just like we built for that. I'm gonna put the space station ID in the chest, this thing. So instead of going to a planet this time, we're going to um, scan you. We're gonna to go to a space station. Cool, cleared for liftoff. Now, one thing we absolutely wanna do is bring um, a matter receiver with us, right? You have everything you need to make one of those. You do. This will take a minute or two of crafting, but it'll get there, right? So I'm gonna make the matter receiver uh, and I'm gonna bring this extra power cell, which power cell's getting a little bit low on power. You're doing okay. Wow, man, we're actually hurting a little bit for power. That's funny. <laughs> we're burning through some power right now, but that's okay. We're making 15,000 RF a tick out, in the, out there and it's hurting just a little bit for power, but it's fine. Um, if I ever cared that much, I could turn this off. This thing's burning a lot of power. I forget how much, but it's like pretty close. And don't forget this thing still kicks on as needed. So right now it's not outputting anything, um, which makes me a little concerned because are you, yeah. I had to get my memory card again. I am on my to-do list. Stop using P2Ps because they don't work very well. The, uh, the P2P stuff for Applied Energistics seems to work okay. I've never had to do this for Applied Energistics P2Ps, but for EU P2Ps, I absolutely have. And it might be it might be Industrial Craft's fault, to be fair. 
Absolutely. Absolutely could be. All right. Um, so let's come back in a minute when all the crafting required for this is complete. Because it does actually take a decent amount of time. So I think we're actually crafting this right now. Nice. All right. Back in a minute. You know what I want to check on camera? How much of these do we have? Two. Nice. Two singularities and like almost two thirds. Two and two thirds ish. So pretty soon I'll have enough singularities that I can make um, the infinite range infinity booster card. So that means six quantum singularities. The rest of this stuff is not too bad. Phantom booster? Yeah, it's easy. Uh, everything else I've made before, right? Simple, simple. So that gives me an infinity card. But I think this can only go in the wireless crafting terminal. Uh, the wireless crafting terminal, which is only a wireless terminal with a Fluix Pearl. That seems easy. That seems easy. That just occurred to me while I was uh, waiting for all this crafting. Like, hey, I'm probably getting close to that. So let's actually see if I can quickly. Fluix dust times four. And we're gonna want a ME terminal. So I want an Annihilation and Logic Processor. There we go. I'm gonna need more crafting CPUs because they're starting to become, you know, in use. Um, so you might be getting close. There's one. Two. Cool. Uh, and then you can become a crafting terminal just like this. So I'll just need a crafting table. And we'll need a calculation processor. Hey, that weird thing happened with marble again. I noticed it because of the... So good to know that that still occurs. So crafting terminal. And then you two should combine with a Fluix Crystal, which I might have to get a new one of because I probably used one of those Fluix Dusts for the Annihilation thing. Definitely happened. So this should hook me up with a wireless crafting terminal, which will hopefully, where's my battery? Always randomly things are finding their way into here. Good, it is working. I don't know how much power you store, but you are draining my battery like something fierce. Uh, let's make sure that you're linked to the secure. Uh, I think I put you, where do I put you? I forget, it's been a few minutes. Is it here? Nope. It must be at the security station, which I have out back. Linked, cool. So you have the same range right now, but soon I'll be able to put the infinity card in here. Um, and now I can wirelessly craft things, by the way. So if I did this and I did that and I did like wood, I can craft on the go. How cool is that? Nice upgrades. Loving it. Uh, let's upgrade our, or charge our uh, battery and stuff. Back in a minute when auto crafting is done. I wonder if I can check on the status of auto crafting. I can. Look at that. That is cool. Nice. Back in a few. Hey, nice. Everything's running smoothly here. This is at 90-ish percent. There's a bucket here waiting to get filled up with that Dew of the Void, which is coming across now. Boom. And then it returns back to complete the crafting process. Sweet. Um, this thing's cooking up some of the vibrant alloys. What's our status here? Pretty close. Crafting, crafting, crafting. Still a few things to craft and scheduled. Fused ports, it looks like, is next, which is happening right there. Beautiful. I love automation. Do you guys have any idea how many steps would be involved in making a matter transmitter and receiver? All I had to do was click two buttons and wait five minutes and it happened all automatically. This is the thing that I love so much about modded Minecraft. It is just like automate all the things. I know that's kind of like a running joke on this channel, like Dyer automates all the things, but like truly that is what's fun for me. Like I have a good time. Uh, we're currently crafting ender crystals, so I assume that you uh, have some of this in here and you're capturing the enderman, right? And then you come next and you've got that going on and you get your experience. Pretty spiffy. Nice. Loving it. And it's done. Nice. 
Matter receiver. We've got a matter receiver. So that means we can launch ourselves into orbit. Dun, 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 dun. So if we bring up this dude, uh, which my hotkeys, I upgraded the mod pack. So does that mean my controls? No, rocket GUI is still numpad four. Why you know rocket GUI? Did you, oh, I didn't build you. Okay, that's why. Let's build. That puts it all together. Destination, station one. Nice. So see, destination is station one because we have the chip in the thing. So let's fuel it up and press space to take off. So before we take off, uh, let's make sure. That we're wearing a spacesuit. That sounds like a really smart idea. Uh, where's my feet? Okay, cool. So we've got that. Uh, this is the planet chip. We can leave that here on Earth along with my memory card. Um, I don't need my linker anymore. This is to get home later. Um, sweet. Okay, I think we're good. Right? We've got everything we need. We've got a spacesuit on. This is not infinite range yet, so I can't use it from my space station yet. But once I make that infinity range upgrade, I should be able to. All right, so taking off. We've got a receiver to place down there. We've got the power cell, um, which the power cell in theory has a card in it already. I'm gonna set all sides to output now before I forget. That's cool. I still have O2 in my tank. Let's, let's fill up my O2 tank, just in case. Not that I'm gonna be there long enough at this point um, to require more O2 than I already have, but yeah, you get the point. Um, so I'll see you guys in a minute when we're on the space station. So we're descending now pretty rapidly uh, into our space station's orbit. And you can kind of tell that we're on a space station because we have this nifty image of the planet beneath us. So that's cool. So what we should do is land on a space station that's a five by five of these blocks because that's what I built on the space station assembly pad prior to everything else. Okay, and we're here. So if I shift, we will see that we have now landed on our awesome. Okay, so there is a small amount of gravity in Earth's orbit. That's good to know. But remember, we are in what's essentially a void dimension. So you really want to be careful um, about whatever you're building, right? So I think what I'm going to do is um, I don't have a good way to, I don't have a jetpack of any kind to get underneath Oh, I do have this thing, though, so that should be fine. So if I wanted to, like, say I wanted to put right here my receiver, which we will name Space, uh, let's call it Satellite of Love. Yeah. Some people may get that reference. Only if you got last episode's reference. Uh, so I should be able to staff of traveling around here. So hopefully I should be able to pop this dude down pretty quickly underneath. And then staff of traveling right back through. Cool. We're getting power here. Nice. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rocket launch myself back to Earth. Fill up the fuel. One, two, three. Launch. And I will meet you guys back at Earth. We will test to make sure that we can get to the space station via matter transmitters. So seeing as we're back on a bill on a on a on a breathable planet, and we know that there's terrain under us, right? I should be able to do this. And then this. Nice, there's the ground under my feet. Now technically, I shouldn't take fall damage. Whee! It is, to be fair, kind of fun to watch your own rocket, like, you know, make its way to the ground from a third person perspective. Zoinks, and it landed. How cool is that? I love it. All right, so now uh, let's, and this back on. Technically, I have um, boots that prevent me from taking fall damage, too, so I could have jumped off while still wearing the space module. But now I should be able to travel to our new space station, the Satellite of Love, uh, dial it up. Yay! Uh, now, this is the landing if we ever decide to fly a rocket here, just as an FYI. Um, so what we should probably do is build out our house in this direction, right? Um, and we will, like, I don't know, 
denote something as here for like don't build beyond this point. So like this is the original one, two, three, four, five, right? So let's do like this and this, and this would be your launch platform. Um, yeah, we still got that going on. Cool, and we should be able to get home like that. Beautiful. Okay, so that works. So now we have a space station with power that we can teleport to and from. Boom, that's what's up. Okay, so next thing that I should be able to do um, is get oxygen in our space station, if I'm not mistaken. So I just requested the craft of a motor, which is taking its sweet time. Come on, motor, let's go. Well, I guess technically you do, need, you do need a lot of copper cables. I guess that's fair. I mean, even with all the speed upgrades we got in that stuff over there, it takes a second. Cool. Uh, motor check, oxygen jet vent check. Now I'm assuming that into this oxygen vent, I will place oxygen. Oh, you also need power, good to know. Redstone control, oh, that's cool. So I could control it with redstone, that would be neat. Let's, um, let's, um, let's, um. So you are what, the tank that would have oxygen in it and you're the tank that has hydrogen in it. Bum, ba -da -bum, bum, bum. Uh, now I'm pretty sure How did I have this set up? Here is where it's going to pull oxygen in? Yeah, that's cool. Now, you're not going to make more oxygen until I void out this hydrogen. I believe to be the case. Um, let's also get some cans. Oh, good, I have some. Let's uh, fill those up, potentially. Well, actually, I don't even know if I can. I might need buckets to go in here, too. So I'll just steal some of these tanks. Hey, no, stop that. Well, we'll figure it out. Hopefully the can thing works. That's weird. I managed to get a liquid oxygen can at some point. Oh, these are rocket fuel cans. Well, that's why. I should have tested this because I bet I'm going to run into the exact same problem uh, that I had with rocket fuel, but we'll see if we do. And if we do, oh well, we'll just have to turn more water into stuff. Cool, so there's your liquid oxygen can. Can you... So that's interesting. Uh, how about... You can, okay, cool, that works. Can you pull? You can, awesome, nice. Well, that, that that's a thing that works perfectly. Nice. I'm gonna need another tank here. Wireless auto crafting for the win. Tank, 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 boom. Uh, Cause I just voided out all my oxygen. If I want you to, to work better, I'm gonna need, uh, the, the, there we go, uh, pull. And now you can see this thing running again because I'm gonna void out all the hydrogen here and uh, do something with it. So that's nifty, right? Uh, so we've got oxygen, that's good. And in theory, I can stick another bucket in there, nice. Okay, so that should be a way to do it. And we can apparently use something called uh, CO2 scrubbers containing carbon collection cartridges, and that will, um, I guess, scrub CO2 and to turn it back into oxygen. So that'll be a way to automatically fill the oxygen vent. Ooh. Scrubbers. Neat, CO2 scrubber. Well, that's cool. Carbon brick, huh? Seems easy enough. Except I don't have charcoal. But yeah, no, that seems, that seems pretty straightforward. Um, I might check that out. I wanna try this real quick though. Um, so let's get a bunch of bricks. Stone bricks, for that matter. And our builder's wand. And even some glass. And uh, pop out there, and I wanna see how this works. Do I have any conduiting too, by the way? And our energy conduits? Yeah, that's what I want. I should totally get a jetpack because now I'm officially building in a void world, um, technically-ish. 
Uh, so satellite of love, dial once. I've got my way home. Always validate that you don't forget that because otherwise I don't think you have a good way home. Short of, you know, death. Ah, no oxygen, that's right. Much better. <laughs> Warning. <laughs> Whoops. Um, so let's, uh, I'm going to build this off camera real quick. And I'm going to build a simple room, but we're going to expand this base because uh, we have to build a warp core. And I think there's a bunch of multi-blocks we have to build out here. So I'll be back in a minute. It's harder to build in this environment than it looks. Uh, totally. Totally harder to build in this environment than it looks. So that'll be like the door. Dude, how could we not have a nine by nine in space? I hope nobody's like upset now. Oh, another nine by nine? Come on, it's my first space station. Of course it's gonna be a nine by nine. So technically, now I'm wondering if doors are quote unquote airproof, but we'll check. So in theory, in theory, um, I should be able to run and place my oxygen vent right here. Now he's gonna need, you know, obviously some O2 dumped into him and some power, which we'll, uh, we'll take care of with a little bit of dire wire. Uh, this is going to be less than ideal wiring, which should be a surprise to no one uh, because I don't have flight. But once I have flight, which I think I'll work on next episode, so you've got power now. So is there oxygen in here? Hey, atmosphere type pressurized air, 1.0. So I should be able to, ha, how cool is that? That is beautiful. Now, how quickly do you, wow, you really, uh, you really do a lot of uh, burning through that oxygen, huh? Will there become a point where this room is like, pressurized and we're good or wow okay so it just like burns through that really fast so I'll probably need some kind of co2 scrubber to deal with that um, there's not a leak or anything that I'm unaware of right like you are technically a solid block I hope unless you're venting out on this side too which if that's the case, do you retain your, uh... you do not. Okay, so let's do this, hold on. We'll fill you up with power. And then I'm gonna test, push that. Right, and now we'll see if you're like wasting quote unquote oxygen. So it's pressurized. So the, there's now absolutely no leaks quote unquote in this room. I'm just curious how this works because I've never actually played with this mod before and this is me learning on camera how it works. So basically like, it doesn't like pressurize the room at some point it doesn't look like, um, nor does it, um, so if I turn you off, yeah. So that so they're de so we definitely want some of those CO2 scrubber things. That's what it comes down to. Um, but it's basically either on or off, and that's it. And I wonder how much O2 I get back from the CO2 scrubbers. Um, and there's also no check for like, oh, he's wearing a spacesuit that has oxygen, so we're not going to waste the oxygen. Like none of that, you know. But that's okay. Neat. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wrap up the episode, um, and we'll come back next time and start looking at what's involved in making a warp core. In fact, I'm gonna look right now real quick. Hollow projector, I imagine that I can, I'm imagining there's other things I can put on this place besides a warp core. Like there's a bunch of other things that we haven't even like looked at doing yet, orbital laser drill. But warp core uh, requires a warp core, titanium block or titanium block or block of titanium times 15, a couple blocks of cold, four structure blocks and input hatch. So do I have 15 titanium blocks? Uh, that's a question. So that's probably roughly two stacks of titanium ingots, right? Um, didn't I teach you how to make titanium ingots? I guess I didn't.
I guess I had a bunch and I never taught it. Where's this thing here? Uh, encoded steel and chrome. Okay, well, I'm going to teach this um, what it means to be a titanium ingot maker. And yeah, let's do that real fast. So I'm going to need more patterns. Same process as always. Request 20 after using 20. Um, so you check. And then titanium dust becomes titanium ingot. Check. And you're going to go into this dude. And the steel and chrome ingot will now get titanium ingot. Sweet. So can I craft? I can. 512 small piles required to make two stacks of titanium ingots. Um, and because we need 14, well, 15 blocks, it's 14 blocks would be two stacks. So we're pretty, we literally have just enough small piles of titanium dust um, to pull that off. So let's come back next time. For now, Dive with 20 signing off. Take it easy.